Galax, Virginia for a basketball tournament. It's Friday and Saturday. Hopefully we're going to drive back Saturday after winning it. That's the plan at least. So, um, do you know who y'all are going to play? Um, I should, but I don't know right off the top of my head. I think they're both homeschool teams though. What team do you play for? The CVHAA Patriots. It's a homeschool team based out of Richmond, Virginia area, but we got kids that come from everywhere. We got kids from Fredericksburg, Williamsburg, Farmville. A lot of people that come, like drive like hours to come play for this team. So we pull from like a big range of places. It's not always just from Richmond, but that's where we're based out of. Yeah, we'll play anybody. We'll, I mean, typically it's like private schools or homeschool teams, but we have played some public schools before. It's just a mix. Two bottom guys come up. We're not worried about the corner. Two, three, but put pressure on at half. Pick it up. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Patriots on four. One, two, three, four. Hey, Patriots. Whoever does, pick up on one. As long as we keep everybody healthy, then I think we have a really good shot at doing well this season. Um, we got a good team. We got a good mix of people. People who can do different things. We got athletes, like people who are just really athletic. We got people who shoot the ball real well. We got a bunch, a bunch of people who are real, play really hard defense. Things like that. We have a really good mix of everybody. And everybody, like, I think as long as everybody like accepts like their roles and tries to do it to the best of their abilities, then we're going to be pretty good this year. Like. I, I think we're probably a better team this year than we were last year. And I don't know if I would have said that going into this year, but having played a couple games already and practice and stuff, I think the potential for this team might be higher than last year. And we won HSBN last year, so that that kind of says what confidence I have in the team this year. Yeah. Many years ago, um, my wife and I decided that we were going to homeschool our children because we felt that the Lord had led us along that path to do so. Mike had always practiced and worked hard. He's always um, played basketball since he was really young. Um, so I think it just motivated him more. I mean, he goes up to the Y on days that we don't have practice. And uh, he plays a lot. One thing that's interesting about Mike is ever since he was young, he's always played with um, people who were a lot older and a lot bigger than him. I never babied him. Um, when he was 11 years old, he was playing with people from our church and people who would come up to the gym where we play. Um, grown men who outweighed him by 100 pounds and you know, six, seven inches. So he's used to playing with people who are a lot bigger and stronger and older. No, actually it worked out great for us being homeschooled because I'm military, we travel a lot. And I know a lot of people who PCS, which means we leave in one duty station going to another one. Sometimes it's in the middle of the school year. Uh, I think playing the big teams has been good for us because uh, you can't play mediocre teams and expect to get any better. You got to play the big teams to show where you at and know what you need to improve on to get better. The Dodger okayed him, said it was his kneecap that got a brace, but I'm still going to worry because Lawson stays off the ground more than he does on the ground. He's always jumping, so yeah, it's a concern, but he'll play the best of his ability and do the best he can. So, I mean, I got high hopes for it. I just hope nothing, I mean, he gives to it. I but no, don't re-injure his leg and let it get stronger. You know, uh, we don't shy away from oh, teams that we play. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to bump into you. Yeah. Yeah. Other than the coaching here, it's been great. Oh, okay. Oh, Jay. Jay. <laughs> Excuse me. That, that wasn't on there, was it? Well, Jay's the man. That, that's that's the man. I have a good relationship with both my coaches. They're they're both good people. They really care about the organization and whatnot. But they also care about us as people, not just not just players. And that's special because most coaches I've ever played for, like they care about you some, but they more care about what you can bring to the team and stuff like that than just you as an actual person. But both Jack and Jay are people that will go out of their way for you if you need help. And that that's special. You know I love you. Love you. All right, you got anything to say about it? Go yeah. Patriots. Go Patriots. Go Patriots. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Short and sweet. Yep. Let's go. I mean, how many coaches will take you out to eat and stuff like that or want to get together for dinner or, you know, just call you, ask you how, how you're doing if they haven't talked to you over the summer very much. I mean. That's special, like not even caring about the basketball as aspect of it. I mean, something Jay always says is that it's not about basketball. And that really kind of resonates throughout the whole, our whole program. Lord, I pray that we go out and play hard for you, keep a Christian character, help no one get hurt. Lord, again, thank you and love you enough. In your precious name, amen. Jay, four, us on four, let's go, us!
Nothing's given out here. So it was a tough road so far, and let's make it work. So let's now go over the, uh, now let's pray first. Daniel, God, let's go. That's the most important. Dear Lord, I uh, just thank you for this group of guys and uh, just bringing them together, God, for, for this moment. Uh, just thank you for everything that you have in store for them. Thank you for for this moment. Um, God, I just pray that you be with us in this game, that you would keep our attitudes focused on you, and that you would, uh, you would shine through us, Lord, and just help our character to just keep getting better every game. Uh, Lord, I pray for both teams that no injuries would be suffered in this game and that any injuries that have been suffered, God, that you would just touch, uh, touch that person and uh, heal them if it's your will as quickly as you want to, Lord. Um, again, just pray for this game. And if it's in your will, God, we pray for a win. But if not, yeah, just help us be okay with the results and do better next game. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, real quick. <coughs> Everybody talks about it. Welcome back to Central High School in Springfield, Missouri. The 2018 National Christian Homeschool Basketball Championships Class 3A semifinals between the number six seed Central Virginia Homeschool out of Richmond, Virginia Patriots against the number two seed Indianapolis Wildcats. This game will be a two and a six to advance to the gold ball game, which will be played tomorrow for the 3A. And we'll find out when the other games are finished exactly what that matchup will be. This is our second game in the big championship and the national championship. We're all looking forward to it. Um, no predictions yet. We just got to play hard and take care of business. Right. Both teams shake hands. Both coaches shake hands and we're ready to go. Tip comes down to Virginia. Virginia, the Patriots will have the ball in red. Let's get started here. There's a drive, ball is tipped. That goes out and the left-handed shooter puts it up, rattles out and tip in. Patriots bring it back down. They work the ball around the perimeter. Thought about the three, drives, jumps, puts it in off the board. Hunter Perryman, the 5'11 shooting guard comes over there and puts it in, back quickly to the other end. The Wildcats, Jake Roscoe could not get it to fall. And here come the Patriots with a four nothing lead. The six seed trying to knock off the two seed in the semifinal. Here's another three pointer. Perryman drops it in. And the Patriots are fired up as they run out to a seven to nothing lead all the way from Richmond, Virginia. And they land the first blow in this heavyweight contest, seven to zero. Perryman's already hit a three, but not this time. He decides to pass it. They try to feed it down low. Nice knock away by Wirtz. And Johnson comes up with the ball. Big guys, the towers for the Wildcats. Johnson drives and puts it in. Here comes Ruddle. Ruddle drives, scoops it off the backboard and in. Here's a shot outside. Works in the three, and we got a tie ball game. There's a travel. Another turnover for the Patriots. Wagner got a little bit of happy feet there. The Patriots coach Dave Horner just really into this game. Works swings it out top. Nice Great. feed down low. Seth Sutherland with the cutter. Pressured by Sutherland. There's the trap up top, and there's a steal. Ruddle, he'll go the other way for a wide open layup. And what an evening for the Wildcats as their faithful are on their feet. Their team with their biggest lead after trailing 9 to 0. The Indianapolis Wildcats lead it 25 to 18 as we head into the half. Here's the inbounds pass. Big guy, Quinn. 
Quinn spins, works his way, muscles down low, and puts it in. Perryman driving the lane, does the reverse, and nice shot. Missed, but gathered in by Iffy. He kicks it out, and Wagner with the three, and it's a one-point game again. Almost lost by Roscoe, back to Shook for the three. That's a little short, comes off, but somehow, another rebound, throws it up and in off the backboard, Roscoe. Drives, loses his footing, and the Patriots come away. They kick him out ahead. Barnhart to Perryman for the easy two. Zone board as he follows his shot. He was under the basket. Back out to Roscoe. He puts up the three, and it's good. Stiffy, but he loses it. It goes through his hands. Here comes Shook, and he is blocked by Donaher. Here's Johnson. He shoots a three, and he sinks it to tie this game up again with 3.12 to go. Under three minutes to go here, we have a tie game in this 3A semifinal. Works. Fakes his man. Takes the three, and it hits the three. Quinn with the ball. Back over to Barnhart. Barnhart feeds the middle. Quinn. It's another one and one. First time they hit that front end. Second. Rims out. Ball is fought for by Quinn, tipped away. Diffie comes up with it. The Patriots hit the ball, Diffie in the lane. He's gonna have to do something. He puts it up, misses the shot, but Johnson looks like he's gonna be called for the foul there. He's got two this time. Misses the first, 104 to go. Yeah, you can see his follow through. Wasn't quite clean on that first one. Let's see what he does with the second one. Diffie sinks this one, we've got a tie game. Here's Works. thought about it. Here's Johnson. He does more than think about it. He takes it. It's long. Ball comes off loose. And the Patriots with it. Almost a foul by Roscoe. 45 seconds to go. Tie game. And Central Virginia calls a timeout. 42-42. 10.7 seconds left. Yeah, and this gym is starting to fill up. There's a lot of noise. A good atmosphere. Let's see what happens. Barnhart will bring it in for the Patriots of Central Virginia. I guess, the game is tied. I guess they look for some dribble penetration and a kick to Quinn. Here we go, Perriman up top, five seconds left. He is pressured by Sutherland. Back to Barnhart, looks up. He might run out of time. Barnhart puts it up to three, and he has it! Oh, it's unbelievable! And it's Barnhart with the double clutch, three! Unbelievable finish. That's the first pull-up jump shot Noah has hit in like four years. <laughs> I was supposed to set a pick for Hunter, but somehow he had to get the ball. So the clock was going down, right? And I was like, man, we gotta shoot. Hunter wasn't open, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. And I was trying to get Hunter open, but then the time was over, so I was like, I gotta shoot. And then it just went in. That's it. It was ugly. That's it. It was ugly. That's it. That's what matters. I was trying to get it to Hunter, and then everybody's like, shoot. I was like, all right. Shoot. <laughs> Right away, a steal by Wichita and a bucket on a fast break. Wichita. The 
bring it inbounds. Number three, driving. Oh, 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 oh. And he hits another buzzer beater! Perryman hits a big three to win the Class 3A goal ball. Back to back buzzer beaters for the Central Virginia Patriots. Hey, I told you they can't play. Ain't no way. Let's go. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. This is how we do it, man. Don't care if I score two points. We're going to win. Let's get it. Oh, do we want to go home? That's what we do, man. We get lucky, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're good. That time we were lucky. Yeah, you gotta show them the trophy. Let's go. <laughs> Motion was going, and these guys were into the game cheering and doing what they were doing. <laughs> this is why we are who we are, because we play for the guy next to us. That's what we do. We're not going to agree on every call or every play. I'm done. Go Patriots. Here we are. What's yeah. What time do you 8 30. 8 30. Let's go 8 30 on four. 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 30. See y'all. Well, good evening and welcome back here to the boys 18U quarterfinals. Tie ball game 13.4. This game is really out there for whichever team wants to take it. All the way to the hoop. And that one too hard off the glass. Offensive board. Put back in. It's good. Seven seconds. Warriors in back. Oh, he slips. No. Gets it to Hill and all wow. one. They turn it over. And the Patriots are going to finish this game oh, out. Oh, my are... goodness. Wow. Battle for baby. Let's go. Hammond Student Center, one more game. This is the eighth of eight, 53-49. Ten seconds. Barnhart. Seven. Oh man, that's taking Quinn. too long. A lot of time. Quinn misses. Jump ball. We got a foul call with point two. That's gonna do it. There it is. Congratulations to both teams. You make it this far to the final four. Um, it's like in the NCAA, you have gone somewhere that very few teams have gone. So congratulations to Central Virginia. Just a great tournament, some fantastic memories. Yeah, man. Hey, everybody knows I don't like to lose. Let me tell y'all something. And I don't want you ever get happy with losing. That's why you're so good. Don't have your head down after this. No, nope. after this no, run. No, no sir. No, no, no. no, sir. As an alumni, I couldn't have dreamed of playing in this tournament and making it as far as y'all did. Y'all did something special out here. Made that nothing, nobody from Richmond has ever done this before. They've never had the guts to come out here and play. Nobody from Virginia has had the guts to come out here and play. These coasts. You know why? Because we know we're better than <laughs> anybody on the East Coast. And y'all proved that today. Y'all proved that this week. Y'all showed me grit and determination that, honestly, from my teams and before and in between, I've never seen it in a Patriots team. Y'all know how to win basketball games. Yep. All right? So don't hang your heads. Guess what? Y'all got HSP in next week. <laughs> they better they better watch out. And you walk in when I tell you to. All right. All right, all right, hold all right. on one second. How's everybody doing today? This is HSBM 2017-2018. And we are here as usual to have a fun trip for everybody. Not just the players and the coaches, but our fans. Everybody comes up here. Everybody's having a blast. If y'all could please turn your attention to all the fans and the cheerleaders and could y'all Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh, I think seeing the movement and the sports movement for homeschoolers, watching how it's grown, but not only that, but how it has evolved as well. In other words, you know, 90s, 97, 98, it was just trying to do something. And now the teams are, we got levels of competitiveness as your group has experienced. We have these national events now. So everyone's to get a state tournament. You know, seeing that part of it, seeing football come in, seeing cross country come in, volleyball's growing. And be part of that, seeing how the sport, all the sports are growing. I think in hindsight, everyone's pretty happy with how we did. I think everyone's sad at the moment when we lost, but. Yeah, I mean, how. Definitely a success. It was worth yeah, going to Missouri. It's worth driving 16 hours. Mm -hmm. We got a coach right here. Pulling out the hat. No, 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 no. Get out of here. My cronies right here. No, not no cronies. Yeah, we've been here from middle school. Mm -hmm. Out all throughout middle school. How long you been here? Five years. I've been, been here five years. This is my seventh year. <laughs> yeah, but he played for a different team. Yeah, he's coming for the best team. Yeah, we started off really well, then had a little minor setback with um, a hand injury, but I came back, played well, and so far the uh, end of the season has been going pretty well so far. We made it to the national tournament, made it to the final four, won state championships, and now we're here at HSP, and I'm um, trying to get another championship. All right, we're playing one on one. You can only get two dribbles, right? Yeah. Anytime, baby. Hey! Game over! Pee wee on. Before the game, obviously with the seniors, everybody that was in the locker room knows what I said, and that's all. That's all thing important. But the game speech is very easy. Congratulations to the 2018. Yeah. Also, obviously, we talk about this all the time. Look over there at the door, and there's yeah. probably ten other guys that maybe four or five that didn't come in the locker room. But I know Gage is here and some other people here. They guys paved the way. They love this organization. They love y'all. They want to see your accomplishments, and they're behind you. That's huge. That's huge from coming all over 
you're not in a school environment and you're coming from different places and you're trying to build something special. And I just want to, like I said, congratulate you all again and thank you all, all for your support. Lord, we thank you, for, thank you for this win and we thank you for the sport of basketball and we love what you've done through this organization that you've let us all come together and play a sport that we love and represent you well. And I thank you that I, Lord, I feel your pleasure over each and every one of these boys today and the way that they acted today. And I feel your pleasure over them and how they represented you well. And how they represented you with good attitudes, with a strong fighting spirit, and a victory over their opponent. We thank you, Lord. We bless you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go, Michael. Hey, Michael on four. One, two, three, four. Michael. Let's go. Sometimes I feel alone Like you're just up there on your throne And I'm on my own But you're the lamp into my feet And the light into 